Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the spider's web and we're going to be painting this building, one of the Med Med Middle Eastern ones from Bolts. You've seen me paint, you've seen me making this one, now we're going to be painting them. First off, all I've done is primed it with Holford's Grey Primer, pure and simple. And then over the top of it we've just done a few quick patches in the Halford's Red Primer. Meh. <laughs> No big deal though. No big deal for painting this either. Uh, apart from the fact that my um, airbrush was uh, got the habit of clogging up at the moment. I don't know why. Anyway, the first paint we're going to be using is Model Ur uh, from Valeo and it's Middlestone. And this one is going to be going on the inside for the time being. <laughs> I say for the time being, you'll realise why. So we'll add some uh, airbrush thinner and this goes all over the floor and already we started off with issues. Um, I'm not sure what's going on but I've ordered a couple of new needles so hopefully it might be them that's causing the issue. I don't know but as I say this goes all over the floor and we're not looking for a f you know, fully covered surface um if some of the gray some of the red shines through, shows through that's fine it gives a little bit of texture to the inside of it and <clears throat> we'll just give this a wash out and we'll go over to dark earth now again this is vallejo and if i'm using the airbrush the chances are i will be using vallejo products Occasionally, I might use um, Army Painter, but so far, we haven't got any Army Painter um, airbrush paints, so um, I'll be using some of the medium that you can get to use the normal paints. But that's if I use Army Painter, which I don't often do for airbrushing. Anyway, we're just putting this dark earth on in. Really patchy. We're not looking for full coverage here at all. We'll want some of the um, middle stone to show through. And we're going to do this on the roof as well. Now, this is where it starts getting clogged fully. I'm not sure what's going on, but as I say, I've ordered some new needles. Hopefully that will sort it out. Um, it may be a needle to nozzle issue, so... The needles I've ordered to come with nozzles, so hopefully we can get it sorted. But yeah, we just, as I said, just putting some of this haphazardly over the roof. Again, I'm not looking for full coverage. I'm leaving patches unpainted. Um, just uh, just going with the flow with it. Because um, I want to make it look a little more interesting than just having a flat one tone um, roof. That's the bit you're going to be looking at for the most part of it. So, yeah, make it interesting. Next, we're going to go over to Pale Blue. Yes, I, do, I know it looks a little bit on the greenish side, but this is a nice little colour. I do quite like it. And for this one, we're going over the walls. Now, it's going to be a bit tricky showing you this, so I do apologise if you can't see everything that I'm doing, but I'm trying my best to keep you in the loop on it and show you what I'm doing but um, there are times when I'm going to find this difficult so yeah all the walls have got to be painted in this but sticking on sticking to the parts underneath the roof supports I suppose I could always paint them in uh, mahogany or something to make them look like wood but I haven't done if Andy wants me to do that then I've quite happy to or if he wants to do it himself you know obviously there is models so he can do what he wants with them um so uh yeah we have a nice one coming up uh, in the next video for this um i really enjoyed doing that other one but you'll find out what I, find out what that is um when it gets uploaded which will be after this one i'm not saying when because i've not edited it yet but yeah. Dark Earth. 
back again. <laughs> I did say for the time being we're going on this one. Was it this one or was it the... I don't know. But we're going round the edges of the floor here. Um, just to tidy up any overspray. Um, I'm not really bothered about the overspray being on the walls. But I don't, don't want it on the floor. I want the floor to be a little darker than the... Um, than the walls and I put a few little patches here and there on the floor to make it stand out a little more and I'm also going around the base edge and the top of the base um, with this as well to make it look like it is part of a earthy floor or whatnot add a bit more in um, hopefully it will work anytime soon yeah it is doing <laughs> but we are having problems and I don't know why. I am using flow, uh, what you call it. I am using um, thinner, but for some reason, it doesn't want to play. Um, so I have, I have also stripped it down and cleaned it today, and still having issues. So I don't know what it is. Um, I've also noticed as well that the trigger. Once I press it in, it does it stay stuck in for some reason and uh, it's constantly coming through unless I pull it up. May need a new uh, brush, I don't know. But anyway, yellow ochre is the next paint we're using. And this one is going on the walls. Now you may have noticed, although possibly not at this distance, but... The ones that stick out where I'm going on near the top of the walls, the little prongs that stick out, some of them do have the texture paste on that I've used. Now, when I get round to that, I'm going to ignore the bits with the texture paste. I'm just going to paint in the, the tabs themselves because I want to make it look as though someone's actually just slapped the stuff on and not bothered. That's why I've painted it like that. But... Again, we'll see that when we come round to it. So, this yellow ochre colour, we're going to be going over the walls, we're going over the roof, and we're going to be adding a little bit of light green into it as well. Hey ho! Hmm, just to change the appearance slightly. I get my big head in the way once more, a bit more thinner. Make sure it's working now, and it is. So, we'll just splat some of the green over the top and uh, strangely you won't see much of the green but you'll know it's the it's just something that's in the you know it's just something you can tell it's the, the or you can tell it the something there um, I'm not using it as the main color for the house for the building house whatever you want to call it but what we're doing is just getting little bits of colour here and there just to make it, as I say, just to make it interesting. You don't want it to be flat colours. Um, it looks boring. You want different colours there. So cleaning, uh, cleaning the nozzle, trying to spray through, um, whatnot. Still having trouble. Uh, add a little bit more paint for some strange reason and try again. Well, it's working this time. So... Let's keep blasting as much as we can for as long as we can. And as I say, roof, walls, doesn't matter. Um, so next we're going to be going over to whatever colour this is. I can't remember. Light brown. That was it. <laughs> um, and I am washing this. I've edited the parts out where there's a long pause where I've washed the uh, brush out. Um, but there is gaps in it where I have um, washed it or cleaned it rather let's give it a back blow and get it running again I found out if you I discovered then that if you give it a bit of a back blow or whatever you want to call it it works so putting this light brown over and that hides a lot of the green I'm not necessarily painting the over the all of the green to cover it but it does hide a lot of it so it knocks it down into the background so you can't tell or you can't see immediately that there is green there but you can you can you, as I say you can tell something there um, but bear in mind this is supposed to be um, 
Middle Eastern, so it's like desert hut. This one is light grey. And we're going to be going over the top of the building with this. And again, into the airbrush, bit of thinner, and a bit of blowback. And there we are, just going over the top of the walls and down between the gap to show where the light's hitting. Um, it looks a little bit more... Looks as though there's something going on, if you get me drift. Um, so we have this on the top of the walls, around the top edges, and here we'll go as well, around the hatch to get onto the roof. And I think we'll put a bit on the actual roof itself. Yep, we do. And you can see, it's like a really muggy camouflage colour. Camouflage pattern on the roof. <laughs> but it's interesting. And now we are going over to Mahogany. And this is the part that we use for the wood. So we're coming to the end of the video, as you may be able to tell. Um, unfortunately, at this precise moment in time, I had to stop what I was doing because it was time to go to the club. I did this last Wednesday and it's Monday now. And uh, I did what I could. Um, so all the wood parts are done, apart from the top bits. I started doing them then I thought, no, better not. Wait for later. So this is where I started back again the following day. And we'll start carrying on with mahogany and using a brush this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also press the bell for notifications of any future videos. And subscribe if you found this video useful. You can also financially aid the channel to keep the lights on. By either going with Buy Me A Coffee or become a patron. And our Patreon page links are all in the description. Anyway, as you can see, I'm using the brush to establish the colour on the doors, on the door, the hatch, and all these bits along the top. And as I say, this these parts, I'm only painting this mahogany colour to show where the wood is, not where the um, texture paste is, because that, as far as I'm concerned, is for the walls. And it's just been slapped on with no regard whatsoever i think I'm, I'm just my backstory for this is that it was just a rush job yeah. <laughs> anyway we get doing all these and once they're done we can add a little bit of a highlight to it um now we're not going mad on this at all it's um just a very simple technique We'll get some light brown, I think, now. Where are we? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, a little bit of light brown. We'll put that on our palette, and then we'll mix a little bit of the light brown in with the mahogany, just to lighten the mahogany. So we all want a little bit out. We don't want too much. So there we are. The paint is on the palette. And we'll just get some of the mahogany, put it to one side, a little bit of the light brown, put that to one side. And all we're doing for this is the slats or the panels on the roof hatch and the door. Uh, we'll be coming back to do all of the other bits and pieces a little bit later on. But uh, so far, that's all we're doing. We're just doing little odd lines here and there. Again, not going overboard, just to show a little bit of interest. We don't want just plain flat colours. We want to look as though there's something there, there's something to grab your eye. And by adding all these mini, sorry, adding all these paints onto this, you're doing just that. You're adding interest when you look at it. Um, as you can see, the, the green has gone right back um, in prominence. And it's not as strong as it was when I first put it on. And uh, as you can tell, it looks different. Now, I do forget to do two things on this. And um, that will be the uh, little latches on the door and the loft hatch. But now we're just going over the... Doing exactly the same thing again 
with just the light brown. Um, we're showing some of the previous light colour on it as well, but we just want to make it stand out a bit more. I think that, I feel as I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but I'm just trying to explain the reason why I'm doing things. And it's literally just to make it stand out. So once we've done this, uh, we'll do similar to the little tabs along the top of the wall, which are for the roof supports. And uh, that will be it for this particular min uh, this particular model. So all that remains is for me to say, um, if you have any preference for uh, the next building to make, make up and paint, then you will see pictures of all the ones that are available to choose from at the end of this video. And what we'll do is leave us a comment down below and let me know which one you'd prefer to see. Uh, there is one already picked after this one, so uh, that will be coming up fairly soon once I've edited down the footage, and then we can uh, enjoy that video as well. But that's all for we have uh, time for for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful, and I hope it's inspired you to give some of these uh, models a try. But until next time, as always, stay safe, and take care, God bless, and bye for now.